welcome back. Uh, so in this video, we are going to update our application. For example, uh, we have V1 image, which is running on the, on the Kubernetes. And now our developers realize we need to update it. It may be a little change, maybe the huge change, doesn't matter. It, it gonna be version two. Now, if you remember, our Kubernetes is attached to our ACR, which is Azure Container Registry. So in Azure Container Registry, we have already covered all, all that lab. So you'll find everything very familiar. I'll take you through the infrastructure and we'll talk about the task later. So let me share my screen and take you through the infrastructure first. So there we go. So this is our... Uh, Azure Container Repository. This is the name of the repository. This is the version one uh, image, okay? And if I go to Kubernetes, I have this Kubernetes. And uh, under node pool, there is only single node which is running. You can see here. Right. We have already seen the scaling of uh, cluster. So let me take you here. So we have Kubernetes running attached to the ACR. Which ACR has the version one image for us. And uh, that's the setup. And I also have a machine, a Linux machine right here where I have all the uh, tools which are required because you cannot run uh, Docker commands on the cloud shell. So I needed this tool as well. I'm logged into this machine through with the help of AZ login. I, ha I have installed the Docker because I need Docker Compose to run and need to create the new image or modify the existing one and push it to the ACR. So this is the setup we have, we have till now, we have completed all the labs. So you'll find, as I said at the beginning, uh, familiar, right? So let me quickly show you right now, we have those two pods running, kubectl get pods. And you see, and if I do kubectl get service, I have this, uh, what we say, load balancer service. Seems a little slow. Uh, there it is, if I copy it and try to run. Why this is important because, uh, let, me, let me check one more thing first. If I do uh, what, I'm, what I was thinking, I was thinking to cat. I was thinking to cat. Okay. There, there, there we go. It's a version one. I have already updated before this lab. This is ACR202 version one. We're going to change this to uh, version two. Okay. And uh, let me come here under the Azure Voting app. This this is how it looks. Uh, you, uh, and we are going to change how it looks by changing the image at the back end. So what we need to do, we need to uh, go back to our Linux machine and see where we have this uh, image. So it is right here uh, under Azure Vote config dot cnv if i paste it here you'll find it's azure vote right here azure vote config file dot cfg right here i need to uh uh this is updated one right because it says cat dog and false and if you remember when i was showing you this it was saying blue, purple, and reset, okay? So instead of blue, purple, and reset, it will start showing cat and dogs. Just wanted to uh, show you this. So let me get out of here. And now 
to create this image and tag it, I need to run Docker compose uh, up build hyphen D. Well, to create the front end image and test the upload application, uh, I'm running this command and hyphen hyphen build argument is used to instruct Docker Compose to recreate the application image, right? So if I do Docker images, I should have th this image right here, V1. We are going to tag this with this uh, registry with version two. That's simple that we have done before as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply type Docker tag, right? Tag who? Tag this image. Let me copy this. Put it here. Now tag who? Tag this. Tag what? Here we need to give the information of our ACR registry, which is this dot IO. Okay, and it is Azure vote front, right? And we're gonna tag it as version two, enter. There we go. If I do Docker image LS, you see, we have this image now and we can easily push it to our uh, ACR. What is the command it's very simple command you can use docker image push or you can use docker push as well i'm going to use docker push and put the information of or i can copy it from our above let me do it from here because it will minimize the chances of mistake so let me put it here and give it uh, version two right now it will go to the ACR and if I go back here, here actually, no, here and click on registry and see what I have under the registry, I should have uh, under the repository two versions now, version two, wonderful. Till now, uh, <clears throat> everything is more like a repetition. The only thing we did, it did some changes to the image and call it version two and push it to the ACR that is our registry, okay? Now, uh, instead of doing from here, let me open the cloud shell or work on the already open cloud shell and <clears throat> show you something. Uh, let me clear this. A simple command that will set the image, image which is getting used as a front end to version two, like the imperative, right? Then we'll see the declarative that is set image uh, deployment Azure vote front. Yep. If you remember, we are using the same file from the very beginning. We always had two deployment front and back. We only change the image for the front, uh, for the front deployment. That's why we are only setting the image for the front. And now we need to give the <clears throat> information of version two image, right? Azure vote front, okay? Uh, Deployment, that's the image. Now image is going to be going to be ACR202 dot Azure CR dot IO. Then Azure vote front version two. Right? Hopefully I did not make any mistake or spelling mistake. Now the image is updated. If I do kubectl get port. All, so you see the old one is terminating and new one is running. You can see it's running first and then terminating. If I go and refresh it, 
blue purple will become cat and dog you see cat and dog so it's updated now if you want to see a little more uh, because we have only single uh, pod running so you couldn't see much the whole point is regarding the update uh, updates they are like recreate strategy there is a rolling update strategy and i think i did cover all those deployment strategies in uh, in our uh, kubernetes series uh, you can see that in the playlist this is the lab series there is also one more kubernetes playlist uh, but if you would like you can you can put your comment in the comment section regarding the deployment strategy and all i would i would create those videos as well uh, I do have plan for that in future as well, but right now I'm just trying to cover as much as, as, much as uh, Kubernetes, sorry, AKS. That is Kubernetes, I understand, but with the perspective of Azure, right? So let me let me show you this. Let me get into uh, let me get into this uh, and increases the replicas. Okay, so if I do insert. I'll change the version uh, uh, why it is showing version because we did it through the command, not through the declarative way, right? So we'll apply this later, but before we apply, just let me make it uh, uh, where is the replicas at the top? I believe so. There it is, front. So uh, You'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm trying to do when I'll, <clears throat> now if I do kubectl, so command way we have seen already, now we are applying and you'll see, I would have 10 uh, pods for, uh, let me correct this, for the front. And by default, it's rolling update strategy that it picks. So if we do kubectl get pods, we would have 11 pods. And prior to that, I need to check one more thing, which is, uh, let me see. Now you see we got, uh, 10 pods running right here. And if I go and uh, refresh it, will become the blue and purple again because it's running version one. Now what we'll do, we'll click, go and make it version two uh, and also put the pods on watch while it is changing all the 10 pods, okay? And then you can see well, it's it's 25%, I believe. Oh, no, I did some mistake there. Let me go back. There we go. It's version two. Mm, hopefully that's how I wrote there. Now, if I do kubectl apply hyphen f, that's that's how we are. We call declarative way, and that's the best way because you would have all the information in in the file and and your uh, infrastructure or all the applications which are running as per the file do not have the surprise or you need not to dig deeper to check that okay now we do kubectl get pods hyphen w <clears throat> you see how many we have right now so many pods right so there are pods who are terminating their pods were running terminating you see the old one is getting out and new one is getting created. Let me quickly do kubectl get pods. All is not done as of yet. You see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 pods uh, at a time, but out of 16, uh, these three or four are terminating. So it's 12. All right. Uh, <clears throat> We'll do, we'll do some more uh, deployment strategies later maybe, but this is not the video for that. I think, I believe I have, I have uh, covered that part uh, in the uh, Kubernetes series.
so let me summarize the video. So in this video, the very first thing we learn how to update the application from version one to version two. But to make this, uh, to rejog the memory and make this video a little interesting, we created the version two from the very scratch. We, we, we made some changes in the code. We created the image, tag it with the version two, push it to the ACR, and then update imperatively and decoratively in our Kubernetes. And we saw uh, how, how it works. And if you, we do, it, it changes again. So I hope uh, this would be helpful and thank you. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and keep working out. Take care. Bye-bye.